Late retired President Daniel Arap Moy was laid to rest in Kabarak. Mourners continued to pay homage to him. KTN political editor Ben Kitili takes a look at today's tributes from some of President Moy's most trusted men and women. Among the mourners of Mze Moy's funeral service were some of the people he worked with for years. Many of them not only mourned a boss, but a friend as well. For years, Dr. Sally Kosgei was one of the most powerful members of President Moy's cabinet. I first met Mze Moy when he was vice president. I was coming to the end of my first year at university, and I was job seeking. The year was 1972, July. I was stuck by his humility. As one of President Moy's most trusted lieutenants, Dr. Koske was there to see it all as Moy sought to balance between Kenya's interests and changing global politics. I was particularly lucky to sit with President Moy in his many meetings with leaders in international and in international meeting, meetings. Other leaders often came to consult him in diplomatic terms. You know that if they are coming to you, they respect you and you are the boss. She eulogized Moy as a humble and straightforward leader, pointing out his remarkably sharp memory. Many years later, he reminded me of this meeting when I became reluctant to take up the London posting. He even reminded me of the ridiculous T-shirt I was dressed in that day. You have to believe that he really had a strong memory. Just in case you are wondering, that was a bright yellow T-shirt with black writing and a cup overflowing with beer. It was from East African breweries. With <laughs> Another of Moy's most trusted men is General Lazarus Sumbeiwo, who knew Moy since the 1980s. An army man who became close to President Moy, General Sumbeiwo helped Moy cement his legacy as a peace seeker mediating in peace negotiations that ended Sudan's 21-year civil war. It is during his tenure as president that Kenya began asserting its, itself through its foreign policy as a regional leader on peace matters. The generals won part of the Sumbewo brothers. The late Elijah Sumbewo was Moi's escort commander. The late President Moi's primary physician, Dr. David Silverstein, has known the former head of state for 42 years. During his presidency, when I would check him on a weekly at State House, he was always considerate of my time so that I could get back to my other patients without delay. Wiper Party leader and former Vice President Kalonzo Musioka can be described as the model Moy mentee in politics, having been plucked by Moy as a young ambitious lawyer and groomed into a political heavyweight. I lost my father about a year and a half ago in 2018, and because he couldn't attend uh, my father's funeral, he dispatched Brother Gideon. The curtain falls on Kenya's longest serving head of state, a man who has been described as a political genius and maker of a nation, a man who President Uhuru Kenyatta has referred to as a giant of history. And as Daniel Torotich Arab Moy finally rests beside his wife Lena Moy here in Kabarak, it is the end of an era. President Moy's impact on the modern Kenyan state undoubted. Ben Kitili, KTN News, Kabarak.